the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 358 1 John 1 to 5 God is love. A Christian's righteous life is to sincerely love one's neighbors as God loved us first. First point. John lived through the matter of 200 Christian leaders following the Great Fire of Rome in AD 64 and spent the rest of his life spreading the gospel to second-generation Christians. Many first-generation Christian leaders, including Paul and Peter, were martyred following the Great Fire of Rome in AD 64 under the Roman Empire. John, however, was not killed but exiled. John lived the longest out of the first generation leaders, and he took care of Jesus' mother, Mary, and his own mother, and moreover encouraged second generation leaders to stand strong in their faith. John, in his old days, became a responsible leader in the church and then spent a long time thinking and reflecting about Jesus. John was able to realize that Jesus died because of his love for us. Thus, John proclaimed that God is love. In the Old Testament, Moses recorded five books, and in the New Testament, John also recorded five books, including John's Gospel 1, 2, and 3 John, as well as Revelation. The Bible started with Moses' records and ended with John's records. John wrote 1 John with the aim of expressing God's love from creation and how God had three forms, including Jesus and the Holy Spirit. John first proclaimed that God is the light and taught the church members to act as the light. John wrote that when we act as light and when we confess our sins, those are the times God's holiness is revealed. John went into depths about the sin and confessing our sins before God and the importance of doing so. Second point, John wrote to the second generation Christians with the heart of a father to his children. Although John was Jesus' youngest disciple, he became a father-like figure to the second-generation Christians, especially following the Great Fire of Rome. John took on the task of teaching the second-generation Christians about Jesus' gospel. With the heart of a father, John revealed the reason as to why he wrote 1 John. John taught the second-generation Christians to always repent and find forgiveness in Jesus. John then taught the church to keep God's words, and that this was the way to God's love and wisdom. John then taught the church to love one another. John furthermore taught them to be cautious of teachings against God's words. The first of these false teachings was to not love the world and to stay away from the Antichrist. John wrote that Christians were those who lived in God's light. The evil spirits and false teachers quietly came into the church and pretended to be one of the Christians, but deep inside they denied God and tempted others. However, if the church members kept their faith strong, they would be able to stay in God's light and to always live in God. Third point. John taught that loving brothers in Christ was possible due to the love of Jesus Christ. John hoped that the church members would live as God's children and then taught them what this entailed. Firstly, God's children were unknown by the world. Secondly, God's children were those who would be with Jesus until Jesus came again. Thirdly, God's children did not commit crimes. 
John used the example of Cain to tell of a man who did not love his brother. John taught that those who did righteous acts and those who loved his brother both were God's people. However, if one did not have love, they did not belong to God. Therefore, as God's children, Christians were to love one another, as brothers and sisters, as Jesus had loved us in this way. John wrote that if they loved one another, they would be able to receive from God what they asked for. Fourth point, John proclaimed that God is love. In John's Gospel, John had already testified that Jesus came to this world as a man. John ultimately proclaimed that God is love. John followed this up by teaching the church to love one another. In 1 John, love is a recurring theme. In chapter 4, John wrote that we were to love because God loves us. The Bible is a book that tells us of God's love. It tells of who God is. We are able to learn about love and obedience through Abraham and Isaac's offering on Mount Moriah. This sacrifice was preparation for God and Jesus' cross. Through Jesus' prayer in Gethsemane, he was able to find out God's will. Jesus was able to obey and take on the cross because he knew of God's love. God had made us all his children by sacrificing his one and only son. Jesus explained that the cross was God's way and truth and life. Thus, God showed us that he is love. If only we believe in Jesus, we can become God's children. And only through Jesus can we go to God. This is also because Jesus is love. Fifth point. John declared that Jesus Christ is the Son of God through water, blood, and the Holy Spirit. Now, John taught about faith. First, anyone who believes that Jesus is the Son of God is God's child and through God's love. A Christian can defeat the world. Second, the proof of Jesus lies in water, blood, and the Holy Spirit. Third, through Jesus, we are able to gain eternal life. Fourth, through Jesus' cross, we are given the right to pray to God at any time and have faith that God listens. John taught the church members to pray for one another with love as they had received God's love. John ended his letter by warning them against idolatry. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.